Hey guys, so welcome back. Today I'm going to be hunting on Layton. But before we start, you've all seen the title, Disaster Struck. That is a diamond blacktail. And we also shot a melanistic whitetail doe. Unfortunately, I lost the footage. I ran out of storage while recording. I was so pumped to get a recording going. I was recording for three hours and I ran out of storage on my PC, so the whole thing corrupted. Two trophies I worked very hard for. I worked extremely hard for that black tail. And the melanistic just came out of luck. It's extremely unfortunate, but there's nothing I can do about it. So it's better to just keep going and get another video up and try find some more trophies. Let's get into it. Starting off here, we fit a couple elk. That one's not bad. Best of the group, so I'll just put a couple shots into him and he should start going down. He's going down fast. And he's floating, so we have to wait for a while. Here he is. After a long wait, just a silver at 237.83. Diamond's 380, so he wasn't even close. It's moving into white tail drink time, and that's an alright one. And that's an even better shot. So we're gonna pick that guy up. Here he is. Expecting about 220s. 209.16. Not bad. So I've moved on to a new server and it's back in elk drink time. I just wanted to get another couple down before I move on to white tail or black tail. Or even loose. There's a couple of coyotes there. Just make sure there's not a legendary running out of there. Just a two so far and another two and a three so nothing special at all but there was a pretty nice elk so I'll try grab him in a sec and here he is I've gotten a little bit closer just make sure there's no better one hanging around and I'll take him out that should be a good shot and yep starting to go down so we'll go pick that guy up and here is our elk Looks pretty big. I like how the antlers have red coming off them. And he's a 320 gold, so still 60 off diamond. Which is ridiculous. I can't wait to see what a diamond Roosevelt elk looks like. Because I think that looks pretty good, just as a gold. There's another elk. Still another small one. And he's going to go down pretty quick. And here he is. Toppled over. And he's a silver at 236.97. Got a nice double long spawn shot. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I just made these guys flee. Up to 390. That's a potential diamond. And I just made him flee, man. That's why you pay attention and don't, don't look at your phone while running to the next lake. Well, he's going to go down. I don't think there was a good shot in there, though, so I guess we'll find out if he would have made diamond. I kind of doubt it, though. He didn't look that impressive. Just had a good score. And here he is. Silver at 320. Sorry, it would have been a gold at 320, but obviously didn't get any good shots on him. At least we got to see he wasn't a diamond. So I have decided to look for some black tail, and we've got some fleeing here. I'm trying to make up for the fact that I lost the footage on that massive diamond from earlier. That one in the brush looks actually very big. Not quite a potential diamond. Not quite the level 5 giant from earlier that I lost the footage of, but definitely a good one. I'm so disappointed I lost that footage from earlier. I worked so hard. I was so keen to get a good video out. I was filming for like three and a half hours, and unfortunately I just lost the footage. But here's this one. Definitely a nice one. Gold at 147. 30 off diamond, but definitely doesn't look like a bad one at all. And here's the other one we shot. Should have gotten a double long heart. No, just double long, but another nice gold. I've got some more black tail drinking over here. No one goes to 165, not a bad one. Try to drop a shot into the lung there. It was actually aiming for the heart, but definitely got a lung, so it's alright. And here he is. A nice little gold at 137. 
Black-tailed deer seem to make gold very commonly, but I don't see too many potential diamonds, so obviously it's very disappointing that lost the footage on my one from earlier. I'm just running the coast looking for some more black tail, and that is a potential diamond duck. I've got a black tail warning calling as well, but definitely this guy's more important. Oh! Okay. There we go. Took a couple tries, but definitely got him. This guy seriously took his time to float over, but just a gold at 18.14. Was a potential diamond, but unfortunately, he didn't quite make it. There we go, we've got some more black tail. Just a small little guy, but should still take him out. There's a doe closer. Flan. No bucks with him, with her, so we'll take this guy out with a nice little heart shot. And here he is, nice little left lung heart shot, and we'll keep moving. I'm trying really hard to make up for that loss of footage, so I'm really trying to find another one. It's not exactly on a plan so far, but we've got another group of them over here. There's definitely a couple of not bad ones in there. That one goes to 173. Not quite a potential, but that's definitely a good one. And as long as we don't see a 5 in there, we'll probably take him out. And of course, right as I'm going to shoot, he turns away. So I might have to alert him. With the 22. There we go, that'll get him alert. And that'll take him out. Yep, definitely going down pretty quick. And here he is. Here is our black tail. Oh, he definitely looks oh, pretty nice. Oh, oh. But he's just a gold at 155. The first shot was not a good one, but the second one went through the shoulder and into the lung. And this seems like a pretty good time to show the screenshot that I got of the melanistic doe from earlier. Unfortunately, it's something's messed up with it, but obviously there it is. Unfortunately, didn't get the footage, but there it is. Moving on, back onto the black tail. It is a little darker now, so I've brought out the night vision binoculars. But that looks like the best one, so I'll probably take him out. And there he goes. And here's our buck. A nice little gold at 136 with a nice double lung shot. And I've just changed the time to whitetail during time. But there's a moose just wandering around here. And he's a very nice one, so I'm going to take him out. And that looked to be a nice lung shot. And yes, he's definitely going down. And just on the way over to pick that guy up, we've got a nice little whitetail over there. And dropped him. There's some up in the trees as well, but can't be bothered waiting for them to come down. And here is our moose, a gold at 239. Definitely a nice one. And here's our white tail that we dropped before. 220.20. And we hit him with a nice double long spine shot. Perfect placement. And we've got a couple of other nice white tail over here. This one going up to 259, so technically a potential diamond, but he's not going to make it. It's not big enough, but that did drop him right in his tracks. And here he is, a nice gold at 224.10, a nice double long shot. We've got some ducks over here. That one, that one appears to be a piebald. Definitely. And he's dead. Got another piebald down. Perfect. And that other one wasn't exactly bad, but wasn't good enough to take over the piebald. For some reason, he didn't float to the other side of the river, but either way, here he is. Definitely a piebald. That looks really good. Just a silver at 10.57. Gonna tax her anyway. It's a piebald. Why not? Nice little duck. Sorry about this video being a little shorter, guys. Unfortunately, I lost three hours of that footage, which you've seen by the title. I was so ready to go. I was super pumped after seeing that we've just hit 100 subscribers. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much. I was so excited to go out and get a good video going that I made it too long and lost all the footage. But that's going to do it for this one. I really appreciate you guys for all the support. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. See you next time.